Hi, welcome to the Thermo Fisher Scientific Junior Innovators Challenge application. Congratulations and thank you for joining us. A nomination to Thermo Fisher JIC is a huge honor. We are so glad you've taken the next step by opening an application. For each section of the application, we have included a brief video describing what you need to do. We want to show you that the application is not a scary process and can even be fun. We are always here to answer your questions. Email JIC at societyforscience.org at any time. Also, there's no such thing as a dumb question. The judges don't see your questions and don't worry about impressing us. Before we show you how to open an application, here are some answers to a few common questions. Do I have to enter the same project that won the nomination? Yes, you do. This project earned you the nomination over other students and has been screened by your science fair. This is in our official rules. Can judges see how much time I spend on my application? No, they can't. You can take as much time as you need until the deadline on June 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern. Can I add to my project? You can only do more trials of the same thing, but nothing that changes the intent of the project. Now I'll show you how to start an application. The first step is to visit thermofisherjic.smapply.org. On the homepage, you will see important dates and a link to more information for nominees on our website. To begin, click the green register button in the upper right-hand corner. Here you will create an account. Enter your first and last name, your email address, and a password of your choosing. We ask that you don't use a school email address as they tend to block emails from us and don't choose the social media sign up. It causes difficulties if you get locked out of your account. Then when you're ready, click create account. Before you can move on, you must confirm your email address. After creating your account, check your email inbox. You should receive an email from the system asking you to confirm your email address. Click the verification button or link in the email. Once you've done that, you can refresh your browser or log back in with the email address and password you've created. From here, you'll click View Programs. There's a brief overview of the application and links to our resources, FAQ page, and our email address. Next, you'll click on More. This next page gives a brief description of the Thermo Fisher JIC, as well as links to our resources, our email address, the official rules, and the parent guardian permission form. Please make sure to read through the official rules before beginning your application. Once you've done that, click the green Apply button. This will prompt you to name your application. Please use the format we provided, lastname.firstname.zip code. Then click Create Application. Before you can access the full application and see all of the different tasks, you'll need to confirm your FAIR password. You should have received your FAIR password along with your nominee packet from your science fair. If you don't know your FAIR password, you can email us at jic at societyforscience.org with your name, the name of the fair that nominated you, and your city and state. After you enter your FAIR password, make sure to hit the Mark as Complete button. Now that you've entered a correct FAIR password, you can see all the tasks in the application. If you entered your FAIR password incorrectly, you will be prompted to email us to fix your account, and you won't be able to access the rest of the application until you do. You can work on your application as much as you want until the deadline. You don't need to complete the whole thing in one sitting. Now, there are a few things I'd like to point out. If you click on Pages at the top, you can navigate to the Resources page and the FAQ page. If you forget your login information, click on the I button to contact SurveyMonkey Apply. We won't be able to help you reset your login password. If you click on your name and go to My Account, you can update your email or change your login password if you need to. You can always click on the Instructions button. This will show you the initial homepage where you can have links to 
the official rules, and the parent guardian permission form. This taskbar shows you if you've completed all the required questions. As you finish each section, the circle to the left of the section will become green and have a check mark. If you go to Activity, you can see where you've made edits, so this is a good way to double check your edits were saved. Now let's talk about where you can download your application to see what your final version will look like and to see if your changes saved and your PDFs uploaded. In the box with the name of your application, click the three dots and then click Download. We recommend that you save a final version of your application so that you have it for your records. Finally, once you've completed all of the sections, you must click Submit. If you work on it after submittal, you don't need to hit submit again as long as you mark each section as complete. Some final advice we'd like to share is that you can type your answers in a Word document. This will help you manage your thoughts, keep track of the word count and spelling, and you'll have a saved copy. Also, you can work on a section here or there. It might surprise you how much you can get done in one hour. It's okay to let adults review your answers, but this should come from you. Our judges are pretty good at sniffing out adults. We also want to urge you not to take it too seriously and to just try. You have a chance of becoming a finalist if you complete and submit an application, so try your best. Be sure to check out our alumni webinars and advice videos on our YouTube page. And feel free to email us at any time at jic at societyforscience.org. Thanks for joining us and check out the next video on part one, registration.